Hi YouTube, my name's Drew and you're watching Drew's Obsessions. Well, I can hardly believe it, but this is my last video in my Movember project series where I did a video every single day for the month of November to raise awareness for men's health issues. As you can see, my mustache has grown from nothing to this beautiful monstrosity, which is slightly embarrassing, but at the same time, it's for a good cause, so I was happy to do it. And what better way to say goodbye to this beautiful mustache than to do a product review uh, on the last day. So very kindly, Beard King has sent me a beard and body wash to test out, so that'll be interesting to try and uh, you know, I'll give it a little bit of a pamper before I shave it off. And then if you guys know me, I always uh, use my Beard King Beard Bib when I'm shaving my head and my beard to keep all the trimmings together. And today I have the Beard Bib 2.0. So I'm excited to test that out. So let's do that and let's say goodbye to this beautiful, beautiful monstrosity. Okay, first things first, I'm going to try out the Beard King Beard and Body Wash. I like the fact that it's a body wash as well as a beard wash so you can keep kind of all of your products together and then you can use it for your entire body. The consistency is similar to shampoo and I can definitely smell the, the spices in it. It's a little bit woodsy but it's not uh, overpowering and yeah, it's very nice. It's, it's masculine without being too overpowering. As you can see, it didn't lather up there and it's definitely not oily or greasy so you can use it all over your body and uh, you know save the oily part for your beard oil when you're done. On to the second version of the Beard Bib. Much like the first version, it comes in a nicely compact pouch. I really like the way this is designed because the pouch actually turns into the Beard Bib. You just pull it inside out. So to use the Beard Bib, I am going to use these uh, suction cups and stick them to the mirror. If uh, you want to have more of a kind of a funnel area, you can stretch it out like this. But if you'd rather have a kind of a mini shelf where you can store your beard products or whatever you're using, you can actually do it a little bit more narrow here uh, to create that shelf. But for now, I'm just gonna do it the full distance and it's very, very firm. I'm now gonna attach the Velcro straps at the back here. And I'm gonna make sure that the shirt is covered by making sure that these kind of uh, shoulder straps here are over top of my shoulders. And there we have it. Okay, here goes nothing. 30 days of growth down the tubes, but not literally since I'm using a beard bib. Okay, here we have the remnants of my mustache. All I'm gonna do here is kind of pinch the bottom and uh, tap it a little bit to kind of get all that mustache hair funneled down to the middle. And the nice thing about this beard bib is if you get kind of stopped, if you get a phone call or something in the midst of shaving, you can just simply just unvelcro it and use these little holes here to attach them to these hooks, like so which is pretty sweet. But since I'm done, I'm just gonna pull off the suction cups and empty it into the garbage. Well, there you have it, everybody. I'm back to being relatively clean shaven. I've left it a little bit stubbly because I'm gonna be growing the beard out again. I'd like to give a huge thank you to everybody that supported my channel this month by tuning in every day and clicking that thumbs up and uh, commenting down below, taking part in my contest. And tomorrow I will be doing the reveal of the four winners of the beard oil put on by ASDM Beverly Hills. And also, if you guys don't mind giving me a little feedback on what you thought you liked the best over this month, if you wanna post a comment down below how what other type of videos you'd like to see more of, maybe you liked the uh, you know different types I did this month and like me to continue that. Would you like me to keep doing uh, reviews? Would you rather me do just strictly beard tips? Um, I've been thinking about maybe doing some sort of a, a year where I grow my beard for a year uh, and document that. Let me know in the description, uh, in the comments down below to so I know kind of where to go and what direction to do in the future with this channel. But until then, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you tomorrow.